Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 89th day of Tiny Towns at High Noon. Thank you, everyone, for joining. It's been a little while since I've been here, so it feels good to be back at it again. We have a really, really challenging Prism Forge set up for you today for our Monument Monday. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, and I'm playing just one board because I think that is all I can handle for this particular setup. Uh, so joining us here in the chat, we've got Vladimir Oriana on Hello, tech. everyone. We have Josh Wood, developer of Tiny Towns and designer of many games. Hello. We've got Luke Peter Schmidt. Hello. Sailing solo today. Uh, and then we have Ryan Dancy. Hello, all. And Vlad, who do we have joining us in the chat today? Today on the chat, we have <clears throat> Roberto Garcia, Ross Gutierrez, David Bauer, Omar Hernandez, Thomas Grieve, Alice Wood, Gabor, Matt Raz, Samantha Bowen, Daniel Erazo, Todd Hunter, Jen Lee, Casey Jones, Richard Gans, Nicolas Brulette, Ernest Marek, Julian Lehner, Leslie Clixby, Stephen Barnett, Lubin Perez, Delver McDilbert, Tori Haitland, Ryan Moss. Thank you guys for joining us today. We have our daily giveaway for a copy of Truffle Shuffle. If you want to be part of that giveaway, you just need to like and share the stream. Alrighty, and for this setup, we have got the cottage as always. Our gray building is the mine. Forgot to mention, this is a fortune setup, so grab your coins if you don't have those. We'll talk about how fortune plays in just a moment. The greenhouse, red building. Also from fortune is the parsonage. Our green building is the inn. Yellow building is the tailor. Black building, because I made the setup, uh, is the bank. Always include the bank. And then our monument is the Prism Forge, also a fortune monument. So Prism Forge is worth one point. And what it does is it allows you to construct two different buildings with overlapping layouts. And you'll notice I have very generously chosen a setup with lots of overlapping possibilities. There's a cottage mm -hmm. tucked inside the bank. Taylor and Inn have some nice overlapping, as does Parsonage. Um, so that should make it easier to make two buildings at once. And speaking of that, Josh, do you want to talk briefly about how Fortune works in case anyone's unfamiliar? Absolutely. So um, if you do not have the Fortune um, expansion, uh, what you'll need today is four coins. And then also to order the Tiny Towns Fortune uh, expansion because it's awesome. Nice. But all you need today is just to get four coins. Whenever you build two buildings at the exact same time, um, at the end of that turn, you will get a coin. Some other buildings give you coins, such as the mine in today's setup. Um, and some interact with coins, like the parsonage today. Um, coins are worth one victory point if they're unspent by the end of the game. But their true power comes from the fact that you may spend them to change the resource that is called from the deck. So if Pete today calls way too much brick, you can go, uh-uh, I'm not going to place that brick. And then you can discard a coin and instead change that resource into anything that you would like. Yep. And it's worth noting that when you make two buildings at once, you really actually resolve them one before the other. You can choose whichever order you want to do that in, whichever order is most <coughs> beneficial to you and your strategy. That comes into play a lot with the parsonage where timing is key. Alrighty, without further ado, I'm going to get started here. And let's hope we don't have three wood and three wheat in a row like last time. First up is a stone. Uh, Josh and Pete, I have a question from you guys, from Julian Lehner. He's saying that, sure. uh, are, do you guys know if there was a mistake on last week playtesting files? We had two gray buildings. Oh, man. Really? That's too funny. Um, I will address that shortly. Thank you, Julian. Um, and then after that stone, is it's another stone. Um, well, Pete. Yeah, so what Julian is talking about there is we've got a playtesting group for people who want to test upcoming Tiny Town stuff that is uh, in the labs. Uh, Josh and I have a bunch of wacky ideas we're working on. I believe a link to that has been posted in the main Tiny Towns Facebook group, so you mm -hmm. can head on over there if you'd like to be a playtester and 
request to join the playtesting group. So once a week, we send folks a setup with some top secret new mechanics. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and we've gotten some great feedback from folks. Uh, why, why don't you describe what we are working on as wacky? That makes it sound like we are not in control of what we are doing. And wacky. I'd like to let everyone know ah. I have a, a strong uh, hand on, on the steering wheel. Nothing is too wacky. I mean, we put two gray buildings in one setup, so it's a little wacky. Yeah. Uh, that oh. was not intentional. It's not intentional. Thank you, Julian. Uh, next up is a builder's choice. For the what were the two gray column. buildings? I kind of want to figure out how Pete messed up. <laughs> um, I don't, we probably, you know, we probably did. We probably put in a new gray building. And then when we listed the other buildings for people to play with from the base game. I don't like all this we talk here. I kind of think it would be fun to play with two buildings of the same type. That, that could be a real twist. Yeah. 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 And at the end you decide which one was your, your real building. That could be neat. Um, well, I think it's been suggested, like, what if there was a new building type, and then what that would represent is you would just deal out one more card of any type, mm -hmm. and then so, like, the, the uh, I'm going to just choose a random color that we haven't used, but, like, let's say the brown buildings, you know, would represent, you know, whatever that extra card is, so if this game had a parsonage and a chapel, you would make the brown buildings be the chapels throughout the entire game. So that oh, way you God. know what you're building, how it's going to score. I think that that's like a interesting thing that, that I would definitely try. And I could see that just being a quick micro expansion because all we'd have to do is give people, right. Like, you know, uh, 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 like, like the rules for that. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> that's true. I like that. Uh, all right. Next up is a wheat. The thing I just chose from my builder's choice. So, if you've been paying any attention at all these past few months, you would have known that was coming. Um, oh boy. Do you want to know something that's funny, Pete? I saw you put down a wheat, and then I picked mine up and put down a glass. Ooh. <laughs> wow. There's probably I, a lot of fallacy. Like, I was like, wait. There, so I was weird. like, wait. That means a wheat is about to be called. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Uh, after that, wheat is a glass. Oh, sorry, Josh. Nope, I needed them. Uh, I need two glass for my, my prison forge. Yeah, it's a raise for the prison forge. That's true. Yeah, glass glass is not a bad thing right now. After that, glass is builder's choice. In fact, there I'm go. probably just going to choose another glass because I need one. Hmm. What um, Josh, or, or, I'm sorry, uh, Vlad, are you able to create a poll if I, yeah. if I tell you what, what question I'd like? Yeah, so this is a pretty simple one. Uh, I'd like to know whether folks prefer to play Tiny Towns with Fortune or just the base game. I won't be, my feelings won't be hurt either way. Both are very dear to me and I, I enjoy playing both. So uh, do you think you could put that question up, Vlad? Yeah, we'll whether people one second. Prefer... Great. All right. Well, Vlad, Vlad is making his poll. Can I throw a resource up, Vlad? Uh, one second. <laughs> Okay. Vlad, can you do five things at once? That'd be great. <laughs> yes. All the things. Oh, hey, Vlad, Not at the same time, but one after the other. That email I sent you just now. Yeah. Also, Vlad, you should play with us today. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. And do trivia. And do trivia. Can you give me the next you know, resource? You know what? We haven't done trivia yes. in a while, and I feel it's like true. we should do trivia. We should. The next resource is a brick. Um, yes, we should. John Zinser is the one who who pulled out that that madness that one day so we should definitely go back to back to trivia yeah that was in fuego right now and i think is... the first day he did trivia was also the day when he had that question about common building materials for homes oh yes. yeah that was that the was hardest fun. one yeah that was fun huh results are starting to come in all righty so uh, what do you think is going to be the result pete I think it's probably going to be. I think it's probably going to be base, and I don't think there's any any problem with that. But I wouldn't be I surprised know. if if Fortune took it either. And what um, do you think, Josh? Regular players. I think Fortune's going to win. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, like some of my favorite games. Like I, I love Catan dearly. It's got flaws. I think it's a great game. I absolutely adore Seafarers. I think it's great, but I probably prefer the base game a little bit. Like I'd rather play that most of the time, but I think Seafarers is an awesome expansion. After that yeah. brick is another oh. brick because 
I'm all about those double that. resources. Come on, man. Yeah, I know. That's just not cool. It's uncalled for. What did you Sorry. call wheat? It was brick. Back to back brick. Double brick. Ooh, we are starting with double doubles. Um, Pete, I think what you need to learn though is that a lot of gamers think the opposite of you. You know, you were like, oh, I put bank in this setup and it's going to be really tough, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Where I think most people go, <laughs> yeah. oh, bank is in, it's going to be tough, it's not going to be fun. Yeah. So maybe you should think that people like playing with the expansions. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've always thought expansions are interesting because. I think that everyone is really excited when an expansion comes out for a game that they like, even though they a lot of times have to do that thing in their in their head where they go, yeah, but I probably won't play it ever, you know? Well, I mean, Josh, I think it's fair to say that with most of our expansions, we try to design them so that you could introduce someone to Tiny Towns with the Villagers or Fortune expansion and oh, they can have yeah. a good time. Um, yeah, complex yeah. games with expansions. I've got some heavy games with expansions, and boy, do they not see the light of day. Cause yeah. <laughs> so we have That's... the results. Oh boy, let's hear it. It's 75 with Fortune, 25 base game. There we go. Wow. Very interesting. Well, That's our uh, daily players I mean... right there. Yeah. Jo Josh was right, and that is that is really cool news. So that's good you to You know, hear. I, I have to go and run the math, Pete, but I intuitively, based on the, num the rough numbers that I know, I wouldn't be surprised if Fortune has sold more units as a percentage of base game sales than a lot of our other games with expansions have. Oh, cool. Wow. That's yeah. great to hear. And the um, game takes awesome. expansions so well because you can just throw in more cards. Like, if I own, I do own Fortune. When I pick my cards for our home games, I don't want to take a bunch out and go, I don't want to use these. I just right. Use yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. Yeah. And with the Villagers expansion, there's no need to worry about any of that. There's only uh, two cards, right, Josh, that interact with the the Villager mechanism. The rest of the cards are base game compatible. So I'm hoping people Excellent. just leave them mixed in. There, there is a stack of stuff for if you're playing with the Villager stuff, but they're like a different size and everything. Like, yeah, it, it's really easy to play no, it's just cool. like with the new villagers buildings and just the base game without ever teaching any new rules it's great Tolly saying yeah. that here his granddaughter loves the coins and delvery saying that it depends on is he playing with his wife or not all righty uh to keep things awesome. going here i'll give everyone a builder's choice after that back-to-back -back brick for which i apologize Oh man, Ernest is saying that. Be attempting... Go ahead. Okay, Ernest is saying that. I think Tiny Towns has one of the best expansions. They add more variety and not necessarily more complexity. I think I'm going to uh, attempt the, yeah, the rarely tried uh, parsonage cottage. Who cares about coin strategy? Ooh. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, Next, is, uh... that, that is a good strategy. <laughs> The next resource is a glass after that builder's choice. Glass. Um, yeah, designing expansions is, uh, it's tricky because you would like to, I think an expansion, it shouldn't try to like, hopefully it shouldn't like fix an issue with a game. I think a good expansion should add something that is the same but different. Um, you know, not too unfamiliar, but still makes the game feel like a fresh experience. And so that's what Josh and I were, we're going for yeah. with fortune and what we're going for with, with villagers too, and hopefully. Um, yeah, I, I think I think the key to an expansion is that you um, open up like a like a new lever, uh, just like a, a new way to play the game strategically, but one that ultimately feels familiar, that is not overly complicated or difficult, where people can go, "Oh yeah, like I I get it, I know what I want to yeah. do." Um, after that, glass is a wood. Oh, good. I wanted wood for my prison forge, but I did not want to choose it myself because. Yep. I, I've been waiting on that one for a long time. Getting cozy here. Yeah, one game that I think has fantastic expansions is Flamme Rouge by uh, Oscar Harding Brown, mm -hmm. who did, um, who did Inner Compass with AEG. Um, every expansion, whenever I teach that game, I just throw in all the expansions. I've got the Peloton expansion that brings it up to twelve players, which is wild and just adds some narrower 
uh, parts of the path. It's a Viking game. And then the weather expansion that adds weather conditions. So you can have crashes. If it's like raining in a cobblestone area, the bikes can crash into each other and fall over. They're, all the expansions are like just a couple of rules, but they add so much fun to the game. Um, I got to play, I gotta play with all the expansions and even some unreleased stuff. I like to play uh, a 12 player with, Flamme Rouge game. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, 12 player Flamme Rouge is a blast. Whether you play partnerships or solo, it is it is so fun. I I adore that game. Yeah. We um, yeah, so we did, yeah, we did a 12 player game at Larkstone with, with Asker there and all the expansions, even stuff that isn't released, it's pretty awesome. That is Gosh. really cool. I'm having I'm like missing a card here or something that uh, oh next up is player's choice i can give everyone that and i need to figure out what's going on with my with my cards i may have left one in the box okay so since speed is looking for the uh, you found the cards i found the cards okay we're all good okay what were we missing? Uh, yeah so player's choice is the next one Tricky, tricky stuff. Okay. All right. Following that player's choice is a brick, which... Oh, man. I just got a coin. What is with the brick? Immediately spells. Uh, I literally do not know what I'm going to do with this brick. Um, Too much brick. Too much oh, brick. especially because I'm building my bank incorrectly. It's possible that I might shut myself out and just become a host today. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think I need to I need to make my prison forge. I need to solo build for no coins. Well, why don't you just build a cottage up there? You can also build a cottage right now. I don't want to, Josh. I don't want to build any cottages. And I'm gonna be stubborn and refuse to build cottages. After that brick is okay. a wood. So much. Sometimes I feel like you're just like on a mission to like prove something or do something, and you're like, you're like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I guess that you can. <laughs> and this is why I have more sub ten point games than you do, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, wood is a builder's choice to wrap up that run through the deck. That is going to be bank number one. I will put a brick in it with no regrets. Okay. Yep. No regrets. So today is the start of our Mariposas week. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of Mariposas stuff during the week. And especially we're going to have Elizabeth Hargrave here on Friday. But if you don't know, if you don't know about Mariposas, I'm going to let Josh Wood tell you about that game. Mariposas. Let's just, let's just be honest. It's, it's just pretty cool. You know, you get to tell this really awesome, nice story about butterfly migration. Um, you, you know, before I had met Elizabeth, like I didn't really realize this, the whole troubles that are going on with the butterfly migrations and how, you know, they're, you know, they're, their sort of paths are being harmed and um, in, in uh, Michoacan, uh, I'm probably not pronouncing that city right. They're in good to be. Michoacan. Michoacan. Um, Michoacan. Michoacan. Um, there, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you know, problems with, with, um, the, the, the sort of the, the species of the monarchs in, in general. And, but what's great is that you get to play as the monarch butterflies throughout their, you know, multiple generations that make this journey up through, uh, the Northeast of America and all the way back down and no single butterfly makes that journey. And so it's kind of interesting, this little like beautiful narrative you get told. And the game is just really simple, but also it has, it's, it's got this interesting complexity to it. You take a turn, you go, yeah, I don't know what this game's gonna offer. And then a couple turns in you go, oh, I think I get it. And then by the end you go, oh, like I, I think that the Dice Tower review was very like apt to say, after you are done, you you're you think to yourself oh i i i would i want to play that game again because i know i would do things differently yep. i think that's what you'll get out of your first play you'll want to play it again because you'll think about ways to do things differently i'm really happy with this game i really loved how it turned out 
and it's beautiful. It's, it's just yeah, yeah, beautiful game. Yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very happy, Elizabeth. Just you know, I, I was like looking for art, and Elizabeth's just like, hey, I happen to follow this like tattoo artist who's from Mexico, and I was like a tattoo artist. And I knew that I wanted to do something different look-wise with this game than a lot of other, like I wanted to look very different from Wingspan and I wanted it to look um, uh, different than a lot of nature and butterfly games out there. And so I was like, you know what, I'm on board. And I picked this very bizarre color scheme for it. And it just turned out, it all worked. Like I, I had so much doubt that it wasn't going to look good in the end, but man, that that is a that is a good looking box. I'm yeah. so yes, it does. happy. Yep. I got it on your screen. I do. Yeah. And all and, right, I'm going to start off the next round with a wood. Oh boy. And every week That's we're my doing... way of just hum humble humble bragging and saying I have a copy. <laughs> <laughs> and every I, week I ordered we mine, are doing... I ordered mine only yesterday. But I'm excited for when mine comes. So. Every week we are doing a giveaway of mariposas. On we are we are doing giveaways on the mariposas Facebook group. Last week the winner was Josh Ward, and you should head over there to see what prices we're giving out. Right on. Cool. And if you um, see it, all right, you're after it, because it, it's going to be after that wood is a brick. Negative, Boy. Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Oh boy! Oh no! Wait, wait, the, wait, did, you, wait, wait did you just call it brick? Yeah, yeah. Just called brick. Heat. This is rough. I have no coins. I don't know if I'll ever have coins. That's a bit what this round feels like. Uh, following brick, fortunately, is builder's choice. Um, he hates us. I'm gonna fix it. Totally gonna fix it. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna need a second here to figure out where to put this. <laughs> I, I think well, that I am in a lot of trouble today. Luke, what is While it? Luke is thinking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the kitty cam. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh, nice. oh, the best oh that's today. so unfair. <laughs> They're not disrupting. They're not disrupting the stream. They're not trying to jump in my lap. Now, hopefully, they'll just stay there in their little box. Oh, kitty cam. Luke, it. what is the WCU? Oh, WCU is Westchester University. It's my youngest daughter's first day of college, which apparently Ooh. is upstairs in the other room. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're all wearing our support wear for her today and, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> supporting our home college for the day. Nice. All right. Uh, the next resource is a stone, something I'm sure everyone is pretty okay with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. It, it, it just amazes me, Luke, that your daughters are in college. I mean, I, I can just close my eyes and see us all in the original organized play office with them crawling around on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> all right. After stone, it's a brick. I, you know what? <laughs> what? No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get any points today. That's why we have coins. That is yeah, a but pointer. see, Vlad... I don't have coins. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I have no idea how I'm ever going to make coins. <laughs> dun, dun, oh my god! I, I feel like I feel like the person who's going to win today is going to have a score in like under twenty. I, wow. I, yeah, that seems fair. I, I mean, I'm I'm just saying. I know I'm doing not well right now. This Nobody's is doing well. Historic. This is I can't it. imagine anyone's doing well with all that brick. Well, we know that you're gonna give us brick again, so go for yeah. it. Uh, yeah, there's only one left in the deck. I'm sure it'll show its its ugly head. Next up is a builder's choice. Build while oh, you can. Oh wait, I'm I'm missing a resource. We had wood brick, builder's choice, brick, stone, and then brick. Oh, brick. stone and then brick. Stone Sorry then. about that. Okay. That's okay. All right, I have an idea, and it's gonna work. Or else. Um, hey, can, can you call it glass? That would be okay. How about a wood? No. <laughs> no one needs oh, a I, wood. Oh man, I am building a. I'm building a very early mine to give me a coin. 
<laughs> Which I need so much. Wow, this has been a wild ride. Okay, following that wood is a wheat. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to build a bank and a cottage because... Uh... Oh, I did going? it again. No, I made my bank wrong. Uh oh. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Oh, wait, that wheat was there. Yep. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it, folks. All right, next up is Builder's Choice. Now I can fix it, kind of. Kind of. Okay. I think with overlap and resources, this is kind of interesting. I'm building a second bank, and I am building a tailor using... You know, like, so it's like the, the tip is going into the top of the bank in like the offset, the most offset way. It's mm -hmm. a very bizarre building pattern for me to use. It stretches across like my entire board. I'm going to build a lot of cottages, apparently. <laughs> Wait, I thought no cottages was the rule. <laughs> I thought so too. I've made one cottage and I'm going to make several more because I don't know <laughs> It's the only way I can dig myself out. Sometimes in tiny towns, you have to pivot. You just have to pivot. And Don't forget roll your greenhouse. The, roll with the resources. I'm putting stone in there, which is so the opposite of what I wanted. Stone's got to be a mistake. It's got to be a mistake. What else can I put in there? Hopefully, I won't need that much wheat. Putting wheat in there. All right. I was going to go for super tailors, and I built two tailors, but they're on the edge, and I don't see with my board me being able to build much more. Yeah, uh, or these resources. Next up is the glass that Josh requested. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Um, Pretty wild. Can I even build two things here? No, I can't. I'm just going to single build. There's no way I'll be able to build. Do I have the wrong setup two. today? Do you, right? No, no, no I'm good. I... For some reason, I thought you were building a factory and not a bank, but I was just checking oh. to make sure that I actually had the bank, and I do. So everything's good. All right. After that, glass is a wood. What? Wood uh, is very wood. okay today. Wow. So you know how you guys like sometimes tell yourself, I'm going to try two boards and see how that works out. Yeah. Today, I decided to not include the tailor in my uh, layout at all and just forgot to put it on. So <laughs> well, it's just as well because Taylor, it's just going to tempt you. I don't, I don't know if a Taylor strategy is viable with this much brick. I will today. Okay. Uh, next up is builder's choice. Builder's choice. No. Um, okay. I, oh, I, uh, okay. I have to do this. I think. Oh, I put that weight in the wrong spot. That is going to prevent me from double building. Rats. Okay. That. okay. After that, builder's choice is a glass. Glass is next. Yep. Glass is next, and glass is good. Glass is good. Glass is good. After glass, you're all, you're not going to believe this. Brick! It's brick! <laughs> it's here. I, I totally believe it. Oh man, the best part is right now, look at look at my board and look at where the cottages are. And then think about what the red building is today. Right. Yeah. This will be nice. one... You gotta build a lot of cottages. <laughs> or a, a lot of... A gratuitous amount of cottages or a second greenhouse. Not my finest work. Uh, after that brick is builder's choice to round out that miserable, miserable round. <laughs> uh, that uh, is the way of tiny towns. So we're starting the second shuffle and I'm going to switch to Peter and Ryan. Who's going to, they're going to talk about a new game. Well, not a new game with a new project that is coming soon to Kickstarter. Luke and Ryan. Sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah, next. so okay. yeah, Go so uh, we're bringing Thunderstone Quest back to Kickstarter uh, in September. 
And uh, Luke is quarterback in that Kickstarter, so I'll let Luke talk about it. Thunderstone Quest is back and bigger and better than ever. <laughs> we'll sell you the whole game, but you'll only need the edge. It's uh, it's two brand new quest for Thunderstone Quest. It's a uh, a return of one of your favorite characters, for, uh, which I won't spoil yet, uh, who comes back and uh, with a little pocket dimension next to Thunderstone Keep and uh, threatens the very world we live in. Again, cool. yeah, again, and then <laughs> and then the other quest is a very sort of like dark gothic, not goth, but gothic Ravensloft kind of quest with a cool vampire kind of undead theme going on and uh, all that will come in a, in a huge box which will let you fit all of your thunderstone quest that you don't have huge boxes for yet and right. uh, plastic dividers for all of your thunderstone quest going back to the beginning of thunderstone quest so it's an awesome box look for it sometime in september depending on when the video gets done yeah, we we showed uh, we showed Luke the super deluxe box last week, and his head exploded. He was like, yeah. "Wow, so wait, that's a big box!" You're saying that we are getting a box that fits all the other big boxes? Negative. No, no, no. another big box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it'll be a third box, a third super deluxe box. It'll be the mm -hmm. same size as the first two, yeah. and it'll give you storage to hold the two new quests and a bunch of other fun stuff on the way. Uh, so if you've been following along with Thunderstone Quest from the beginning, this will be the start of your third quest, third box. And if you uh, if you came in late or if you bought the retail stuff, this will be an opportunity for you to have a storage solution. Yeah, and if you've never played Thunderstone Quest, it is uh, just one of the highest reviewed, highest highest reviewed deck builders out there. It's it's worth checking out, even if you haven't gotten into it yet. It's really fun. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah. All righty. The first resource of the fresh run through the deck. I mean, we're just sticking with the theme today. We're keeping today uh, short and painful. It's a brick. <laughs> it's a brick. So this is okay for me because now I've got a brick in my bank, but I've decided I'm going to make enough cottages to connect my three groups here. It's going to happen. That's my goal. That's all I want to do today. I want to get like a modest 18 points. See what happens. Um, yeah, so that discussion of storage boxes has me thinking that if we ever developed a technology to create an object that was bigger on the inside than on the outside like the TARDIS or something yeah board gamers would probably be that, those would be the hobbyists most impacted by this technology right. imagine <laughs> the ability to take your collection and scrunch it down into a small like cubic foot or something right uh -huh. that, would yeah. that would be that will be huge. great yeah. yep uh, after that brick is a stone, which, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't want that. Uh. Yeah. Thunderstone. Change that into a... That. I don't know why there's so much brick today. I feel like... <laughs> You, you know, it's interesting. I, I was going to call today, but I accidentally destroyed one of my brick cards. So, but I was like, oh, that'd be good for today. You know, people would see a lot less brick. Maybe I should just. You destroyed a brick card? Well, it was just accidentally. Was it your cat? No, no. This time, this time my cat was not responsible for destroying The moment of rage. <laughs> um, all right, the I next call is. is I feel, I feel like destroying a, a brick card in your deck right now. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, that's going to be a greenhouse for me and a mine for two coins. All right. Um, chat has been very quiet lately. I hope you're all <laughs> coping with the brick and that you haven't yeah. finished your towns and are too embarrassed to share your scores. We are all going to be pretty low scoring today. Um, all right. Next up is a stone, which I don't know. I do not know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Bill Kennedy, Bill Kennedy is saying that that technology exists and it's called digital. <laughs> well, it's true. I don't know. But I'm a very tactile gamer. I like... I, I miss Meat Space Gaming very much. Mm -hmm. Tabletop Simulator is cool, but boy, can I not wait until I can sit on a table with friends at games. Yep. 
Um, after that stone is a glass. I had my first experience of that this Sunday after five months oh, of your quarantine. First, yeah. Your first face to face gaming. Yep. Nice. Yeah, that's good. I really miss it. Yeah, me too. All right, after glass is builder's choice. Uh, yeah, so I would choose wheat, but I can't because I made a bank. I made two banks. I think with great uh, effort and a little bit of luck, I will be able to get my tailor city worth three points. Wow. An impressive feat today. Um, yeah, we should we should make some bets on what the high score is going to be here. I'm going to say someone out there is going to get like 32. Someone who went cottage parsonage early. Like maybe if your first two buildings were parsonages or something, I bet it's possible to hit low 30s. Uh, after that, builder's choice is a glass, which I just don't care for. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need a lot like glass, but I don't want it right now. So it's fine. Um, it's fine. It's all fine. And um, for everyone that is joining late or don't know about it, we do a daily giveaway. And if you want to be part of that giveaway, you just need to like and share the stream. T today's prize is a copy of Truffle Shuffle. All right, next up is a stone. So you know, I just came up with a building idea, Pete, and it's so Ooh. weird. We've never done this before. Okay, write it down right now. Or or share it in the stream, I suppose. Whatever whatever you want to do. It's bizarre. I I'll just share it with you. I like I like bizarre. Yeah, write write it down or text well, me or something. Well so. no, I mean the the part of the part part of the problem is it's very like we should have come up with this a long time ago. I don't. We we should have come up with this a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, we always need more expansion ideas. Uh, after stone is builder's choice. Um, we got glass stone builder's choice, right? Yep. And now I am in a bit of a lot of trouble. I'm going to fix it. I'm, I have to make a second greenhouse. It's the only way. Uh, after that, builder's choice is a wood. That builder's choice is a wood. Hmm. Should make that. Well, I thought I was doing well and I was wrong. Except that. Oh, wood. wait. No, I need, I need wood. I need wood. Not going to spend a coin. Uh, okay, and then we have a wheat, which is amazing news for me. That saves me a coin. Yep. Make my second greenhouse, so I have at least two groups of side cottages going on here. All right, I am out. Wow, we're getting early outs. There's going to be a lot of early outs. Yep. Uh, all right, after wheat is builder's choice. Yeah, Julian is out with fourteen points too. 14 points. Sounds about right. Um, sorry, what was the last call? Was it dealer's choice? Um, last call was dealer's choice. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. We got... All right. We got my tailors to be worth three points today. Amazing. And I don't have a, a way to build another one. All right. We've got a wood up next. I'm going to pay a coin. And place down which one is more likely. Equally likely, because of course, I'll choose wheat and I'll be wrong. Next up <laughs> is. Eh, it's another wood. That's Double another point. Wood. And I will make a cottage here, <clears throat> weirdly in the middle, to end my. My board effectively. More scores. <coughs> more scores. Leslie is out with 32. Richard Gans is out with 26. And Casey Jones is out with 19. 32. That was Pete's call. Yeah. 
Wait, was there was there a thirty two? Yeah, from 32? Leslie. I knew it. I knew someone would hit thirty two. I you don't know, think anyone. You know, would I would it. accuse you of being a time traveler, but if you were <laughs> a time traveler, I think you would have done better today. <laughs> I have a funny story about uh, about time travel. I'll share in a sec. Uh, next up is a builder's choice to end that run through the deck. My board is effectively done here. Uh, who else is still going here in the stream? I'm out. Um, I I am still going, but it is it is in the the final like legs of the. Alrighty, um, so this weekend I participated in Nun Pub, which is the online version of Unpub, usually held in Baltimore. Um, it was canceled and then postponed and went online. It was a lot of fun. So just playing people's prototypes through Tabletop Simulator, I got to test uh, one of my own designs out a bit. And at one point, I was showing some folks my game, and one person, she couldn't connect. She was having issues with Discord, which we were using to voice chat. For some reason, she was hearing everything from several minutes ago, and we were hearing her from several minutes ago. So we would hear her say, I can hear you now. And then uh, we'd be like, oh, you can't? And we'd be like, oh, no, wait, that's her from the past. That's her from five minutes ago. So she probably can't hear us right now. It was really weird um, and really <laughs> confusing to try to talk to someone who was like her her ghost from five minutes ago kept on popping into the voice chat. It was it was too funny. All right, um, all right, Josh, a couple a couple more spaces for you. You said I have more scores yeah. from the uh, chat. Thomas is out would... with thirty. Alice is out with twenty six. Delbert is out with thirty five. Oh, thirty five. That is. I, really I impressive. Like, I would like a wheat, please. Yep. Let's see what we can do for Josh. How about a glass? No, nope. about That's a glass. That's, That's not a wheat. That is the opposite of a wheat. Still need wheat, Josh? No, now I need now I need a wood. Keep it rolling. How about a stone? <laughs> how, about, how about a no? <laughs> you know what's crazy is I'm going to spend a coin to turn that into a wood, and then with my dealer's choice, I'm going to I'm going to place a stone. It happens sometimes. Yep, here like it is builder's choice right now. All right, that is that is effectively the end of my game. So, all right. Oh wow, Delbert and Julian have already posted in the Tiny Towns Facebook page. Yeah. Um, all right, you so you are done. Uh, Vlad, we have a lot of resources to go in the deck. Yeah, are sure. I'm going to take care of that. Ones? Yeah. Excellent. I'm sure you'll do a better job than I did. Uh, my score is going to be pretty easy to calculate here. Okay. Don't forget the one point for your Prism Forge. I'm always interested to see the monuments that have like a, a one point benefit. Do you guys have like a costing model where you decide that that one point is what tips it over from being bad to good? Something like that. Yes, a costing model. Um, yeah, you know, it's it, there are so many weird factors. There's the the size of the building because um, like a difficult to build monument is harder to build, but then it's also sort of better in a sense, because then you stay in the game longer if you're playing Master Builder. Um, so yeah, the size, the resource variety, how useful its ability is, all these things, um, they're difficult to convert into straight straight numbers to calculate the worth sure. of. Sure. Um, Prison Forge is a tough one for sure. So we had to, we had to throw players a little something. Um, I'd be curious to hear how often people were able to make use of their Prison Forge today. I think I used it twice, uh, mostly because I, I messed up and I wasn't thinking quick enough to arrange the layouts to overlap them. Um, all right, I've, I've got my score. I forget what number I said I was going for, but I'm really happy with how I did. I got 27 points today, somehow. Wow. Six okay. cottages that scored and then two banks for eight was nice. And then two coins at the end, canceled out my empty spaces, so I cannot complain. Uh, Josh, how'd you do? I got 39 points today, actually. 39. I, I actually don't, uh, well, actually, wait, do I actually even have more? Hold on, let me, read, let me do this counting with, with everyone. I, I feel like I must have done something wrong. Hold on, let me, let me figure wow. this out. Yeah, see so where's, where's this coming from, from? Josh? So I have two all, all your three-point tailors? 
So I have two points for, uh, so I have eight points for two banks. I have three cottages, which is nine. Oh, wait, maybe I double added that. I think I double added that. Hold on, let me, oh. let me actually that. One, two, three, oh, four. Please. So that's Luke, how about you? Taylor's. I actually have 33. I think not playing nice. the Taylor card. Wow, like, 33 is I think, great. I think you're right. Not seeing that Russian. Taylor card didn't tempt me to try that. And I just ended yep. up building a lot of cottages and one, uh, uh, what is it? Arsenic. Greenhouse. Yeah. And, and a couple inns along the way just because I had to get rid of stone. All right. And Ryan, how about you? 24. 24. 24 is solid for sure today. Anything above? I, anything above 34. 34. So 34 is my score. 34. Also good. Wow. Yeah. Really close. Uh, you had 30, 33, you said, Luke? 33. Inched me out by one. Yep. Wow. Really, really close between the two of you. And um, the last two scores on the stream, David Bauer is out with 37 and Ernest Mack is out with woo. 27. Wow. That is wild. I would love to yeah. see some of those boards if folks want to post them on the Tiny Towns Facebook page. Um, okay, that makes sense. Yep. Wow, you did you did commit to those tailors, even though they didn't. Yeah. Fully nice work. Off. Well, I had already built two of them, and then I was, and then, and then I was like, well, I, I I'm going to be able to build three in the center, and then I'm going to get a really good score. But then I realized that I needed to make my uh, greenhouse, and then when I was making my greenhouse. Like I realized, like if I made a greenhouse, then I wouldn't be able to get a third tailor just because of where we would have to sit on the board. Josh, can yep. you show your board again so I can do a close-up? Yeah. Thank you. Wow. And a nice little space for your tree. Uh, two spaces. Oh no, is oh. it one space? Oh yeah. Yeah, just yeah. one space. Uh, just one yeah. space. Yeah. Very nice. Alrighty. Um. Well done, everyone. Thanks for sticking it out through that absolutely brutal round of calling. Yeah. I will try. I will, I'll practice next time. I'll just sit there, flip through the deck, and try to break up those clumps of resources. But uh, thank you, everyone, for playing. We'll be back tomorrow with Tiny Towns. And then Wednesday is Santa Monica, right, Vlad? Yes, so we have Santa That's Monica correct. on Wednesday. Friday, we have a space base. And after that stream we're gonna have a live stream with elizabeth hargrave for the mariposas launch all right. right on um that is awesome so big stuff coming this week thank you for playing and we will see you all tomorrow at the same time so stay safe everyone see you tomorrow everyone, everyone. Bye. bye 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 wear your masks <laughs>